sympathy that we gather today to respond to death's call. Our beloved brother Glenn Allen Mole from the 1973 chapter of Delta Upsilon has passed to the chapter eternal. Having received the request that his memory be honored with the formalities of the fraternity, the request is wholeheartedly and sincerely granted. Brothers in Delta Upsilon, family and friends, we have been called upon to publicly mourn the loss of Brother Mole and pay honor to his memory. We accord to him all continued rights and privileges as a member of the Delta Upsilon fraternity. Although his living body is no longer with us, he remains a brother in the Delta Upsilon. He is as much a DU brother in spirit as he was in life. Once a DU, always a DU. We are therefore assembled here to celebrate his life and to leave a final reminder of his fraternal existence for ourselves and for all who may come within the influence of Delta Upsilon. Brother Marshall, is everything prepared in readiness for our sorrowful duty? All preparations have been made. <clears throat> Therefore, since our words and deeds have emerged from a common heritage of acceptance and belief in a supreme being, it is an essential and basic part of our tradition to turn to God in prayer as did our founding fathers. Chaplain. Let us pray. God of our fathers and our God, who inspired the formation of the Delta Upsilon fraternity, with justice as a sure foundation, may we encourage one another and in common concern be ever faithful to the highest and best we know. Together, enable us to live bravely amid the discouragements of life, seek to acquit ourselves like men, and continue to believe in the best. We adore thee as the God of time and eternity. We acknowledge our mortal destiny and stand rebuked and confounded while death is in our midst. But we are assured that your most trying dispensations are wisely ordered and graciously designed for our welfare. We pray thee to look with tender compassion upon these sorrowing friends who today mourn the loss of our departed brother. We humbly commend them to your fatherly care and mercy. May your loving kindness remain with them in their hours of grief, that they may be strengthened by your presence and better enabled to bear the great affliction that has befallen them. May they lie passive in the arms of your chastening love, realizing that your appointments, though sovereign, are not arbitrary, that there is wisdom and goodness in them all. We thank you for all the good influences of life which is gone. We thank you for the sure knowledge of our immortality and the sure promise of a brighter, everlasting world beyond the grave. May the sad bereavement remind us of our own approaching fate, and that when our time arrives, we are comforted with the fact that your mercy will dispel the gloom of death. And, when we, and after our own departure, may we enjoy, in union with our now lamented friends, the unfading light and 
immortal life of that kingdom which, where faith and hope shall end. And joy and love and joy prevail throughout eternal ages. So in all this we ask thy blessing and the knowledge that the highest ideals and noblest thoughts come from thee. Amen. <clears throat> Another beloved member of our brotherhood has been called away from his earthly labor. Our bereavement brings to our minds the penetrating conviction that human life, in its best security, is weak and defenseless. And in its greatest length, brief and uncertain, in the midst of our bereavement, we reflect on our own lives. Realizing how precious life is, we are com comforted that we can with assured hope look forward to a peaceful place that away from life's travails and where separation and death no longer exist. Blessed then is the departure of our loved ones, when as we look into the shadows in which they walked, there is a glorious radiance of life and a light of immortality. Our loss is the eternal gain of those now in the presence of our departed. With the reminder that Delta Upsilon as the eternal soul of our fraternal lives, let us join together in remembrance of Brother Moore as we sing Hail Delta Upsilon to his memory. Would all brothers of Delta Upsilon in attendance please stand for the singing of Hail Delta Upsilon. Hail Delta Upsilon. extend to each brother the right hand of sympathy, and that at all times and in all circumstances we will endeavor to cultivate brotherly sentiments. These sentiments, to which we must hold ourselves accountable, extend to life beyond the grave <coughs> and to the loved ones of our departed brother. It is our fraternal duty to uphold the four founding principles of for our fraternity, the promotion of friendship, the development of character, the diffusion of liber liberal culture, and the advancement of justice. While upholding all of these principles, we formally extend also the right hand of sympathy to all of those who ever came in contact with Brother Moore. So at this time, uh, Brothers Richard Porter and Frank York are going to give a few short words on the life of Brother Moore. 